Hi, this is Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo TV, and I'm getting ready to go on one of my great adventures, taking 12 customers to Africa, to Kenya on a photo safari. And one of the questions everyone asks me is, what do you take? Well, we just looked at my suitcase, what I'm taking for clothes. Here's the camera bag, and we're going to go through the camera bag so you know what you're going to want to take on your next adventure. You have really two different choices in camera bags for a trip like this. You can do a backpack, which is what I prefer. It goes on my back. I can carry it anywhere I want. I find it a lot easier to negotiate the airport in a backpack. Or you can do a roller bag. The roller bags are nice because you can pull them behind you. I personally prefer the backpack. It seems to work for me. I like either a Tamarack, Think Tank, or Low Pro bag because they're quite frankly the best bags on the market. This is my Low Pro 400 photo trekker bag and I love it because it's going to take everything I want. I can carry it on the airplane and it holds all the equipment that I want for my two-week adventure to Africa. So we'll first start with the laptop compartment, right here on the top. Come on, out of here. There we go. So in here I have my MacBook Pro that goes with me everywhere, 15 inch. And that way I can look at my pictures and edit my pictures every night. Open the bag up. And you can see inside, the first thing I'll take out is something new for me, and that's a microphone. I haven't carried a microphone before, but this is an Asden shotgun mic that I use for shooting video. First time I've ever shot video on a safari. I'm really looking forward to it. The shooting video of the act of action with the animals, video of my compadres on the trip. So next time, think about video, because all of our HD SLRs, that's why they're called HD, because they do high de definition video, do movies. So my primary camera, Nikon D3S. And I like this because it's fast. It goes right here in the top. Right next to the D3, polarizing filter. This is the ProMaster Super HGX polarizing filter, the best polarizing filter I've ever used. I use it for my landscape photography. Hoodman loop to let me look at the image on the back of the LCD to see how I'm doing for focus composition. Nikon Coolpix P300 for around camp compact small shots. Something easy to use. Panasonic noise canceling headphones. In this box I have the headphones and my iPod so that I'm ready to go for my two 10 hour flights to get me there. Yeah, and in this bag are some Ambien pills and all that kind of stuff to get me there as well. The neck pillow and the eye covers. A pair of sunglasses for on the ground in Africa. Nikon 70 to 200 2.8 lens. My second favorite lens for African Safari. This is going to go on my second body in Nikon D700 for up close shots when the animals get right up next to the vehicle. And my primary lens is Nikon 300mm 2.8. For those of you who carry a big lens, notice a couple things. First of all, I put a thin strap on the lens so that it's easy to carry. Number two, I have a really right stuff grip uh, uh, mount on the bottom that's a little bit lighter than the Nikon one. And then I have an Optech hood hat instead of the big trash can lens cap that Nikon and Canon give you for a lens like this. A couple things to save weight and time and size. Nikon TC17 converter, 1.7 converter. I prefer the 1.4 or the 1.7 converter to the 2x extenders because they're a little bit sharper, a little bit clearer. Nikon 24-70 to 2.8. And you saw already the D700, my backup camera. So to recap again, my primary camera, the Nikon D3S, it will have the 300mm 2.8 lens on it most of the time. Sometimes the 1.7 converter, depending on how close or far we are to the animals. The second camera, the D700, will either have the 24 to 70 for in the village people shots, or the 70 to 200 for if the animals get closer than I can shoot with the 300. Out front here, I have extra batteries for the Nikon, my memory cards, cleaning supplies, extra lens caps, extra batteries, a raincoat, a couple snacks things like that that get me going. So quickly you've seen what it takes to fit for an African safari. And I hope that you realize you don't have to take a whole bushel basket full of equipment to get great pictures. 
And it all fits just so perfectly in this bag that I can put in the overhead when I fly. Hopefully you'll join us on our next safari or on your next photo trip. Think of us and let us help you make the right kit so you get the best picture. For Paul's Photo TV, this is Mark Komen saying, have a great trip.